Hi there, I'll walk you through this uh, Yelapa video. This is a little town and beach that is south of uh, southwest of Puerto Vallarta, only accessible by sea, so you either get here with a, a sea, uh, bay cruise or with a uh, water taxi. You can see here it's a nice little bay. You arrive at a pier on the southern, what, well, the eastern side of the bay. There's also a pier on the, on the uh, western side of the bay that's right by the side of town. This one is, a, this is the, the, the eastern part. You can, you're walking here beside uh, Lagunita Yelapa, the Lagunita, Lagunita Yelapa Hotel. A very nice uh, Tahitian style, I, I feel at least like, feels like a paradise island hotel. It's very nice. Uh, I can recommend it. I've stayed there, had the luck of staying there one night. So you walk along the edge here from the pier to the main beach. Here's where, no, where most people just stay. If they, if they arrive here, they stay the day there on the beach, enjoying the, the, the sea and the, the sun. And there's some nice, very nice restaurants with, uh, that'll, that'll have you, your favorite drinks, plus uh, fresh, fresh seafood and uh, shrimp and so on. So you, you can just relax there. That, that's what I'd do if I, if I hadn't been shooting so many movies in the bay. I didn't have the time to relax though. But anyway, uh, the, the, the beach is very nice, the water very warm. The waves were uh, strong for small kids, but they were fine that day. And um, I'd say the sand is a little bit coarse. It's not the finest of sands. So you, I would recommend if you're going to walk, uh, to have some type of some clothes sandals or just normal sandals and um, you won't uh, you won't have your feet uh, well, it's not it's not gonna hurt your feet but it's a, it, uh, in the end it can be a little bit tiresome to walk on, on the, the, the sand and so you can you can see here you walk to the end of the beach if you want to visit the little t the town which I for a long time didn't know it existed <laughs> You walk to the end of, to the western end of the beach, and then there's a there's some stairs up. Uh, you can see some nice aerial shots here. Take a shot by Luis Romero, and um, you walk up the stairs, and you end up on a path like a sidewalk, and you are taken directly into into the little town. There's a church, there's stores along the way, there's uh, handcrafts and, and so on you can buy, but they're all in the mo I think the most interesting part would be to arrive at, uh, to go to the waterfall which is uh, as I say it's easy to find your signal the signs are all the all the way there and just ask before going if there's uh, there is a waterfall because it depends on the season this in the driest part of the dry uh, dry season there might not be a waterfall but which is was the case on my latest visit but before that I found uh, a nice waterfall is, it has always had water. It was just this one time. Here's a view from the path itself, the one I've been mentioning. You, you, you have more or less clear view. There's somebody building a second floor right there. Hopefully it will not block the, the, all the view. But it's a very nice, very nice beach. So once you arrive at the, this path, you walk along it and you'll arrive, you'll get to the waterfall. It's another very popular visit while in Vietnam. and um, what else can I say there's a it's a very relaxed sort of hippie town at times it feels like that at least but it's a there's some nice restaurants too in the town area so you can check them out I like the just the ones in the on the main beach that's I feel are the best the best deal so this is a nice waterfall. Hope you like the, the shots in the video. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and I'll try to reply. If you like the video, please click on like and share if you have somebody who would like seeing it. Thanks for watching the video. Until the next time.